So today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to interface or how to use a single 7 segment display with data of Arduino Uno. The simulator which we are using is the Simul IDE 1.1.0. So how we can do that first of all we will go and we will search for our microcontroller. So drag it down and you can see in the Arduino section we got our Arduino Uno microcontroller. Click on it and drag it out. Click on zoom to fit and you can see that this is our microcontroller. All the analog pins are on right hand side while the digital pins are on left hand side. So I right click on it, click on horizontal flip and we got flipped our Arduino Uno. Now what we need to do is to take our 7 segment display. So we can go in the LED sections or where it is. So here we got our 7 segment display. Again drag it out like this. And now you can see that this is our okay. So now we can take our tunnel like uh, this or we can connect it directly okay. Like this is our A. So we can go and we can connect it out like this. Our first pin is connected with the pin number 9. Because every pin of the 7 segment display is controlling single LED on the 7 segment display. So what about this B? B needs to be connected with that of pin number 8. What about this C? C needs to be connected with that of pin number 7. Now what about this D? D needs to be connected with that of pin number 6. And E must be connected with that of pin number 5. What about F? We must connect this with 4. And the last one is G and we will connect it with the pin number 3 of Arduino Uno. So these are our connection. The common cathode terminal of the 7 segment display must be connected with the ground. Uh, to this point all the cathode side of all the LEDs are connected inside the 7 segment display. So that is why we have connected it with the ground. So this is our circuit part. Now we will go towards our programming part. So we can go and we can open our Arduino IDE. So this is our Arduino IDE. Wait for it to open. Click on File, go to New Sketch. So here Okay, we have two functions that is wired setup and wired loop. So before going towards our programming, we need to go to our library manager. And here we will write SafSec. And, and we need to install this SafSec by Dean Reading by clicking on uh, here install option. Here it is removed because I have already installed it. Uh, so in your PC, uh, there is install option instead of this remove option. So first we will write on the top of programming that is hash include sefseg dot h. So this is our major library. We have written sefseg dot h and we have imported out. Now the second one is by writing the name of the class of this library and then we will write s underscore sec. 
Now what is this? Now we have created an object, an object of this main class or a main library. But uh, you can say class, not library. When why we have created it out? Because with the help of this object, we can call all the functions that lies within this main class, that is sefseg. So this is essential. You can write any other name here. Okay, and with the help of this name, you can call all the functions. So after this is done, we will go towards our white setup. And here we will write byte num digits is equal to 1. Now byte num digits is equal to 1. Now, now we have written byte num digits is equal to 1. Why we have written it? If you have just a single seven segment display, then you can write this one, okay? Uh, while if you have two seven segment display mounted on the chip, then you can write, write here two, three, or like this. So it's representing the number of seven segment display. And uh, obviously, it will store inside this num digits a data variable. And it, it, it is having this byte format means that uh, although we have written it here like simple one okay but it must be inside this byte format like 0000, 0, 0, 0 sorry 0000, 0, 0, 0 then 0, 0, 0, 0001 okay like this 8 bits in a single byte so now now we can go and we can write by digit underscore pins is equal to byte digit underscore pens and this is array is equal to this again you have to keep this empty because it is one display okay if there are multiple displays then then obviously you can include something but here we will just okay we, we we can just leave it empty because we are using just one display of seven segment so then we will write byte sag underscore pens and then array and in this array we write nine comma eight comma seven comma six comma five comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 now what is this now we have declared a variable that is seg underscore pens and it it can only store the byte format data and we have written all the pins number to which all the pin numbers of Arduino you know to which our seven segment display has been attached so it is A is with 9, B is with 8, and C is with 7, and 6, and so on, like this. So we have declared all the pin numbers here. After this is done, uh, we will write, uh, we will declare that either it is common cathode or anode. So obviously we need to declare it out. We will write bytes, sec underscore, sorry, byte, this underscore type means that what sort of type it is having so we will write common underscore cathode so it is common cathode type display some are common anodes means that all the cathodes of all the LEDs within the seven segment are connected with each other and then with the common ground okay so that is why we have written common cathode here then we will write bool res underscore on underscore sex is equal to true now it is actually showing that either resistors are connected okay on seven segment display okay we have written a true so they are connected okay you can write we are just declaring the variables you can write all other name of your own choice if you want okay here okay but you cannot change this type okay so this is bool 
okay bool rason sex so so bool is actually representing the boolean that is either it is zero or one true or false now we write s underscore sec dot begin now what is this this is our function dot begin is our function and this dot operator is actually calling the begin function with the help of this object which we have created here and this is the parameter insertion bracket so we will write all the attributes here so here we will write this underscore type because we have declared it out so we will write this type comma this type comma and then num digits num digits this is our second parameter so we have written it out num digits and then digit underscore pins digit underscore pins this is our third parameter core pins seg underscore pins okay and res underscore on underscore on sex res on sex okay that either there are just there are resi resistors that take to the LEDs because LEDs do not use to tolerate a high voltage of 5 volt or because uh, there must be current limiting resistor if you want to attach these LEDs with that of 5 volt okay so it is always better to use resistors with every type of LED so uh, like this and after this has been done we will write s underscore sec dot set brightness set brightness to 90 okay so this is the bright brightness value so this is our function which 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 we have called for to set the brightness of the LED or seven segment display so this is done now we will go to while loop and here we write for int i is equal to zero i is less than 10 i plus plus okay this is our for loop because we want to display all the things on our what's called as the because we want to display all the okay so we, we want to display all the all the numbers on our seven segment display so here we will write sef s underscore sex dot display number i now this sec underscore sec and dot display number function will will display our what's called as the number that is zero okay then one two with the help of this display number function then sec under s underscore sec dot refresh display and then we need to uh, refresh our display as well and then we will write 1000 here so now we can run it out that either we have certain sefseg has no member that is display so it is set number okay no not it is set number now run it out and hopefully this will run this time so it is done compiling so we can go and we can take this link control c okay now we can go to our symbol id here mega 328 go to properties in the firmware section paste it out and run it out so now you can see that our seven segment display is running properly 
so in this way you can go and you can interface seven segment display with that of Arduino Uno. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.